Hey guys, Mark here showing you how to get Echo Nickel keys. Hopefully I said that correctly. First off, you need to know that those keys are used at God Wars Dungeon. Uh, to avoid getting 40 kill counts, you can enter any boss room with those without any kill count. Although I would only recommend using them at Armadil and Ceredolmen, as it's really easy to get 40 kill counts at Zamorak and Bandos. Now, you can only have 3 max at a time. This is why I only have 3 in my inventory. You cannot get more. Each one has a separate drop rate, so the first, when you have zero, you have one chance out of 50 kills to get one. Once you have your first one, the second one has one to 60 chances of dropping. Once you have two, the third one has one to 70 chances of dropping. And it only has one use each, so as soon as you use it, it disappears. That's why you don't want to waste it on Samurak or Bandos. Now, about what you should actually wear, uh, your inventory and your gear. Here I'm pretty much going to show you all the possible combinations you could actually bring. You do not have to bring the same as I do. You can always find something new or something else. First off, Clempin Boots. Those are only 10 GPs. You don't really care about losing them. Keep in mind that it's in level 25 to 30 Wilderness, so you might actually die. Glory, just to teleport away as soon as possible. As if you see a team trying to kill you, you can always escape with this below level 30 Wilderness, so you're safe. Teleport Tablets would only allow you to teleport below level 20 wilderness, you would probably be dead by that time. And as you as your gear, Bandos book, Zerma cape, whip, and I forgot the monk's rope. Hold on a second. Here it is. Monk's rope. As you still need all the gods items just like uh, the regular God Wars dungeon, Bandos book, Zamrak monk's rope, counts as Zamrak item, Zemi cape. You do not need Armadil uh, item as you do not get close of them, so it shouldn't be a, a problem for you. If you do not have Bandos book, you can always replace them by full Bandos, while not full just one piece, and always use Zemi book, that's fine. If you do not have uh, Bandos book or BCP or Tacits, you can buy Bandos boots. If you cannot afford Bandos boots, you can always get Bandos plate body, Bandos plate select, and Bandos full helm. Those are about 50k each, you only need one piece, so that, that would be fine with like something like this. With Bandos full helm, let's say, that would be great. Now, what I actually bring is this, that's it. So I'll bang the other stuff. And now for your inventory, one pea pot should be enough. 10 food, could be 10 sharks, could be 10 lobster, could be 10 swordfish, that's fine. At, uh, an axe, depending on how you get there, I actually need a hacks. You might not need, so double check this. At least one dose of stamina potion, depending on your method. You might need more if you walk the whole way there. And now, before you go further, I just want to add one thing. Uh, I will show you, later on, I will show you two methods. The first one is the basic one, the one that is really the most used, but it's not the fastest one. I found a faster one, so if you want to use it, use it. You don't have to. You might not be able to either, but if you can use it, I definitely recommend using the second one. But for now, I'll actually show you how to get there. Show you. Okay, now, how to actually get there. It's pretty simple. There is pretty much two methods that I, I would recommend, the one I'm going to be showing and the one I'm not going to be showing. The slowest method to get there is by walking. As you can see, we're here at Edgeville Bank. What you would need to do is go straight north, near Dark For uh, Warriors Fortress, past Bendy Camp, and right here, this little exclamation point, this dungeon entrance, is the God's Words, God Wars dungeon entrance for the wilderness. And to those asking, wait, there's an ancient teleport thing here, should I just use it? To be honest, the odds of you getting there with this in a few tries will probably not be worth it at all, so I wouldn't recommend this at all. And my method, to be honest, which I truly believe is the fastest one, just need a, an axe, bring bronze so you can drop it after. If you want to bring rune, be aware that you might actually lose it, so be careful with that. But it will be to make a canoe. I hope I said it correctly. Yeah, canoe station. I don't believe you need to do a quest, pretty much just speak to Harry in a, in a woodcutting level, I believe, I'm not sure. Where am I going? Okay, chop down the canoe, and that's about it. Make a canoe after, and we'll get there soon enough. Okay, shave the canoe. Make a waka. It's not going to work if you make anything else, so make sure you make a waka. And then you board it, and you're pretty much good to go. If I would actually be able to do it fast, that would be great. Good boy. Float canoe and paddle. And click on the red school here. 
to get to the wilderness. The red's cool, like I said. And then this little cutscene, so cute. Okay, now you come here in the wilderness. It's simply here, so you want to go west. Hey, Mr. Black Ching Chompas. And if you want to kill the guy that hunts chinchampas, feel free to do so. That's fine. So yeah, we're here. And we just want to go here. Right here at the exclamation point, like I said. I'll record once I get there. Okay, now that we're actually here, enter this cave. And once you're in, you have two options. If you're 70 agility, which I recommend, use this wall. It's just going to be easier. If you're not 70 agility, you can use this move boulder option which requires 70 strength the thing is this way there will be this is the armadillo spot so if you go here make sure you pre range otherwise you'll see you'll get pilled i'm just going to show you the example so i go here i'm going to get wrecked by those guys just tank a couple of hits that's fine you won't die from this don't you worry but it's really faster if you just use a crevice from the juting wall it's just here, way easier for you. As you can see, it's just here, you know. If you have Zemrak item, Bandos item, and Cyra item, you have nothing to worry about. But if you have to, if you don't have 70 agility, make sure you pre-range. And if you ever see a white dot or a team coming, before they teleblock you, quickly teleport to Edgeville or any teleport with your glory. That's why we bring a glory, because here we're at level 24, 25 or so. And Glory can teleport you below 30 wilderness, so that's great. With a tab, you couldn't, you weren't, you wouldn't be able to teleport if your teleblock run quickly through this crevice, and the multi gets into single combat. So you can pretty much go here and try to tank or simply use a shooting wall to avoid them, if you know how. That's great. Otherwise, now I will show you how to actually get those keys. You had to actually. Okay, now that we're actually here, I'll show you guys two methods the basic one that most people use and the second one that i believe is really the fastest one so first one oh by the way uh you're never going to get attacked by orcs unless you kill a hork so say i kill a goblin nobody's going to attack me but if i kill a hork all the orcs are going to spawn on me so don't be misconfused here okay so this would be just killing random monsters kill the imps and the goblins when you see them there's actually four hymns, so you want to make sure you kill all the four hymns first. So kill all the hymns. That would be the basic method. Like the method most people use. Kill the imps, kill the pyrophene when it's low HP, kill anything that is low HP. This is not the, the method I use, but if you, do, if you don't want to use a second method, this would be the one for you. Now for the second method. What the fuck happened to the screen? Okay, more seriously now. This is OS body client previously known as Horian client this is kind of like SwiftGIF for older users it's a client where you have upgrades such as hex speed drops as you can see hex speed drops really useful total XP stuff like that monster HP and all so to do the method I'm going to be sh showing you guys you will need Horian I OS body I should say OS body client it's free to use and I will leave a download link below if you do not trust me or you believe I want to hack you you don't have to do it. You can do the first method I've shown. That's fine. I won't. I won't feel bad or anything. You won't offend me. That's fine if you do not trust me. I will totally understand. But for this method, you will need OS Buddy. So where it is, pretty simple. Already one him down, so that kind of sucks. But yeah, kill all the hymns. I believe there's in total three. Yeah, there's three, or maybe there's one here, but I'm not gonna attack it. And then once oh, there was one right here. Double click on any world on this list. Say I'm here, currently here, click here, and you get the list of all the worlds of RuneScape, except PvP worlds, so you cannot really fail your hop. And sometimes you might get close to Armadillo followers, that's fine, just pray range, and you'll be out of distance. So like I said, kill all the hymns you see, and once you're done killing the hymns, be sure to check your loot first, double click on any world. And that, that's as simple as that. And why is it faster? Like, say, why isn't it faster to just kill hymns and goblins and pyrophenes and what and whatnot? Well, hymns are just the fastest thing to kill. And you don't have to, to wonder what HP it's had. It's always a 10 HP, so you can you will most likely always one hit them, which cannot be faster than this. So this is it for me. 
those two methods, the basic one and the fastest one. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you learned something on how to get uh, those keys. And hopefully you'll use them at God Wars. Please, if it helped you, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It would definitely help me out. And uh, please visit my uh, my Twitch. The link will be below. My live stream. I live stream quite often. So if you wish to watch me live stream, click on that Twitch link below. That's it for, for me. See you guys.